Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Catching Up. I'm your host, Jack Smith, joined today by Jade Murray from the women's tennis team. Thanks for joining us, Jade. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. So I want to ask you with kind of a simple question to start it off. Uh, what ex which experiences have defined your time uh, with the mini tennis program? Um, being on the team as a whole was kind of pretty amazing. Um, besides the entire experiences I've had throughout my like freshman and sophomore year, my freshman year, I didn't really know anyone when I came to MIDI. So that, that like single transition from middle school to high school was pretty scary change for me. So when I made the tennis team, it was like, I not only could play the sport I love, but I could, it was like this entire new family kind of accepted me. So that alone was like pretty amazing and helped me through my freshman year. Um, and obviously, um, I made closer personal relationships and friendships and uh, things like going on tour and um, playing games with, you know, my family kind of really helped me solidify these friendships and bonds, which reflected onto the court. What did it mean to you to be able to join a program during your freshman year in which you were able to make friends and make relationships to, that would kind of advance you after, you know, not knowing a lot of people that went to MIDI? You know, it meant a lot to me. Um, it was kind of like this new beginning, and obviously it, it helped me like ease into MIDI, MIDI's, um, uh, MIDI's entire like um, dynamic and whatever, and it was honestly just amazing for that to happen. Did it help you on the court? Yeah. I mean, the relationships and the friendships and obviously the confidence I gained from that, it helped me like tremendously on the court. What do, you, what do you think makes the mini tennis team special? What do you think the dynamic of the team is like if you had to define it from someone looking from the outside? Um, I would say the dynamic is honestly really good. Um, and I think this is primarily because the size of our team, which is honestly really small, but it does kind of help us in the long run um, because all of this, like the, the size of our team helps us foster relationships and helps us to work better on the court. And overall, it's like much more intimate. So um, overall tennis is not really the same as other sports because it's kind of individual. So that kind of leads us to rely on our team, but not in the way that you would rely on our team with group sports. It's more of like a support system, which yeah, really reflects onto the court. And do you play singles or doubles? I play singles. And what do you think kind of the difference is um, from playing an individual sport like that to a lot of the other sports, even comparing it to doubles tennis? How do you think they differ? Um, I would definitely say it's because when you're out on the court, it's just you. And honestly, you have a support system going, but it's not like you can rely on other people while you're playing. So everything that you do wrong or right, that's entirely up to you. So I would say the pressure level is much higher than with other sports and even with doubles, but yeah. And given that, that must require, you know, a heightened sense of mental focus and mental preparation, right? Yeah, 100%, which is why I would say tennis is quite difficult in that aspect. Um, you have to really rely on being calm and collected on the court, no matter what happens, because every mistake you make, that is entirely your fault. And if you start to break or if your mental strength starts to not be as strong as it would um, outside of the court, then that honestly is a really bad, um, it's honestly really bad for you. And the thing I would say is that because there is a team, a tennis team, in comparison to playing outside of many where it's just you, there is a bit more pressure when it comes to doing well. Because if you do let your team down, you are um, not only letting yourself down, but you're letting your team down. What are some of the things that you do personally to handle that pressure as well as to stay calm and collected during a time where maybe you made a mistake or something went the wrong way? Me personally, um, I have these techniques I use to stay calm. Um, and the thing is, it also helps with um, having the support system and having this. Um, um, team to help you because obviously they are there to um, help support you and um, yeah so obviously it is really difficult to stay calm and and stay collected but yeah using like techniques and making sure that you aren't um, getting too frustrated and um, leveling your mood is honestly just a really good way to handle that. 
Would you be willing to share one or two of those techniques? Yeah. So um, obviously a lot of people, when they play tennis, um, they, and you make a mistake and this goes for everything in every sport, you want to try and let your anger out. And obviously that isn't the best way to go about it. Like trying to let your anger out in a way that is visible to the other player because they can take advantage of that. So I would say, honestly, just telling yourself multiple times, like, Hey, you got this, like, you know, kind of, self-improvement and self um and kind of hyping yourself up so and I heard you mention earlier playing tennis outside of midi is that something that you participate in as well yeah I do um I play a tennis in this academy right outside of midi so what are some of the differences of playing there and playing at midi as well as you know what has defined your career outside of midi playing tennis I would say it's much more intense um when you're playing outside of MIDI and you're playing at this academy and it's just you, you're more focused on bettering your game and doing things to overall help you become a better player. While with MIDI, it's more of like, what are the strategies I can use to help me do well against these teams? Or what are some things that can help me like work well with the person I'm playing against, you know? And so, T playing tennis outside of MIDI, it's, I would say it's much more intense. And obviously you're alone alone there. You don't have a team to support you. It's just you. And you have to really work on those techniques for um, making sure you don't get frustrated on the court. And is there a good balance there for you between the two? Uh, are you able to kind of balance the two of them out? Do they help hand in hand? Um, what's the relationship like between the two different places that you play tennis? I would say so, yeah. Um, when I play tennis outside of the court, I mean outside of MIDI, um, it, that alone improving my game and making me become a better player, that obviously reflects onto the team at MIDI. And me playing at MIDI and trying these like different strategies to use also reflects on when I'm playing like individual tennis outside of MIDI. And how has both of these practices shifted since we went into the COVID-19 pandemic? What kind of effect has that had on you as a player? Um, I would say it's obviously been negative. Um, there has been, with the MIDI team, our season obviously got pushed back. And also the whole COVID like lockdown, it's been hard for me to like been able to go out and play with other people. And so I've been kind of slacking on practice. And um, overall, like COVID has just kind of made it hard for me to continue to better my game and like prepare for the upcoming seasons. So what are some ways that you think you can get yourself back uh, once hopefully if there is a season it comes back around? What are the, some of the things that you're going to need to do to kind of get back in your tennis shape, get back to where you want your mind uh, and your game at? I'm going to have to focus a lot on like physical, um, physical strength and physical like I've been slacking off with workouts, obviously, because of COVID, and I need to get back in shape. Um, and then also, I'm going to need to go back to playing um, tennis outside of MIDI a lot more. Recently, I've been injured, so that's been kind of a struggle for me, um, and I haven't been on the court for a couple months because of that. But um, basically, I, when I do get back on the court, I have to start strong and work really hard to prepare for the next season. Well, obviously, we wish you health and luck, and we hope you have a season and that you'll be able to come back strong, and we hope that for the entire team. Uh, but before we wrap this up, is there anything else that you want to t uh, touch on or talk about uh, to wrap the interview up? Um, not really. I think we covered a lot, and I'm really grateful for this interview because of the fact that I don't think tennis gets a lot of recognition. So, yeah, thank you. Yeah, of course. Uh, we wish you luck. We hope you have a season. I know I want to see sports and I think everyone wants to see sports, you know, no, no matter what sport it is. And of course I want to give tennis, you know, the same spotlight as the rest of the sports because they're equally valuable. And I think that we've learned that this year that sports are sports. Uh, everyone loves athletics. And so to give, we should really put them all on the same playing field in my opinion. Um, but I want to thank you so much for coming and catching up with us, Jade. Yeah. Thank you so much for the interview.